time and any time. Let me know what you think about the polls that I'm about to pick out. Just maybe recommend your family some of the stuff. I really appreciate it. First of all, Chris, how you doing, buddy? I'm doing great. How are you? Good, good. First of all, thank you for having me. Hey, man, no problem. And so that we went ahead and picked out some of the rocks that we could put inside the 3.8 gallons, right? So this one looks like a marble rock? Yes. This is a marble rock, and this is a Cribs C1? Yes. Right? Cool. So what are we doing today? Uh, today we're going to make a couple rocks. Um, we're going to frag up a couple things. We're going we're gonna to take an A-can. We're going to cut it up and make it into uh, a little frag rock for your nano. We're also going to do the same thing with a chalice. Uh, see if we can get some, some better growth or faster growth out of them. So you're telling me about the faster growth. Besides fragging, how, does, how do you encourage uh, faster growth? So um, when you take a coral, it's obviously one animal. But if you cut it up into a couple little smaller pieces, then they're multiple animals. And you can get better growth because then they can... They can grow 360 around them. They can actually have room to grow, which is the key. Right, and it's also their basic instinct to kind of like, oh shoot, they're, they're, I'm, I'm hurt. In order for it to survive, we need to grow. So I mean, it's documented scientifically that, that when cold or fragmented, they grow much faster. Yes, it does kickstart their growth for sure. Sanjay also told me that, let's say for example, if we cut a coral into multiple pieces and then you know put it like by near vicinity, they, they'll encrust and grow much quicker as, like that as well. Correct. They're going to they're gonna grow into each other and grow faster. So, And that's what we're going to show you today. I think you had an example for us on, on your one of your tanks here, right? Sure, sure. Uh, we have a chalice that we've already cut uh, I don't know, a couple weeks ago. And you can kind of see exactly what we've done. Um, we've cut the chalice into a couple little slices. And this way we can uh, propagate it and get it to grow a little faster so we can... Uh, so this is like a trick technique that you utilize often in your farm? Yes. Gotcha, gotcha. Okay, so let's grab some of that rock and then uh, let's get to work. So what what are we doing with uh, the chalice rock? Uh, the chalice rock, we're going to use one of these raw rampages. Okay. Um, and we're going to cut that up and we're going to see if we can get some faster growth out of that one colony. We're going to cut it into three pieces and see if we can get them to grow into each other at a faster rate. So do you think they'll grow into, like, fuse into each other? Or do you think, like, they'll, like, uh, because I know they kind of grow, like, in a cap design, swirl design. Do you think they'll be, like, more of a Capricornus, or do you think they'll fuse? As like, soon as the core? two individual pieces touch, they're going to fuse together and create a larger chunk or larger piece. Nice, nice. Yep. Just like, I guess, your main one over here at the display, right? Yes. I know, I know you've practiced into multiple pieces previously. I can't believe how thick it is now. That's one of the babies over there that we're going to cut today is, is one of the frags from the big one. So we're going to cut that and see if we can get it to grow a little bit faster. All right, let's go, let's go do that right now. Okay. I have the rock over there already. Gotcha. So pick out whichever one. Man, you're just so distinctive, you know, that coral? Yeah. No, it's a really nice one. And uh, we'll bring it over here and pop it on the saw. Man, I don't have my glasses here. One important thing, you have to have glasses. This is a, uh, you don't cut anything unless you have your safety glasses. So I gotta get my glasses. I do like having a blue light over top of the frag saw so we can actually see the eyes and we can cut around the actual polyps of the eye of the, uh, of the animal. Right. So we're not cutting through the center. For those of you, uh, for, them, for, the, for those viewers who do not yet understand why you cut around the eye, can you explain why? Um, the eye is like the center, it's the mouth of the actual animal. So yeah. we, don't wanna, we don't wanna cut that, we wanna go around it. So each, each eye is the center and would be so they have a chance to eat and poop. Right, right. So we need to cut around that, and that will be, each eye would be an individual animal. And uh, so let's, let's, uh, let's, let's, let's do this up.
So what we've done is we've just guided the saw through the coral in between the actual uh, eyes of the animal. So this yeah. way we can, uh, now we have four individual animals instead of one. Right. So is this our rock that we're going to use? Yeah. Perfect. So we take our rock and we hit each piece with, uh, with glue. And we don't like to touch the actual frag. That's why I got on gloves. There we go. Got a little bit better glue this time. And once you put that in a little bit of water, of course, that's going to glue, it's going to activate. And then All right, that'll like, solidify it. Yeah. Tell you one thing, Chris is not shy with the glue <laughs> no we need we need to use we need to use a little glue we got to make sure the thing mounts properly and the last thing we want to do is have to redo work twice right. so if we cannot we don't have to pull this out again and we can get a good glue yeah that's the whole key is to get a little bit of glue underneath the guy so this way we can continue working and not have to go back and work on the same guy twice Okay, so we'll take this over here and we'll pop it in the water and see if we can get this to solidify real quick. So by dipping it in the water, it, it lets the glue harden real quick. And now we have a, a chalice rock. Hopefully this thing will encrust and be Amazing. A, a larger, a larger uh, coral here very soon. I look forward to seeing the growth of it. The pattern of the growth. It'll be interesting to see. All right, so let's go. To you want to move on to the next? I think this is a Marco rock that you picked out earlier. Yeah. And then uh, this one. What I did was I actually cut it with my with my cutters, and I made me three little ledges. So we have a nice ledge here, mm -hmm. a nice ledge here in the center, and one ledge here. So this way we have three different spots that we can put an A can and. Um, Watch that bad boy grow. Yeah. So we, we got this. You know, like having this as, as a, you know, like a large, you know, mouth, uh, you know, like that was LPS, it'll be, I think it'd be fun because I see a little hole there. Maybe you could put like a, even a candy cane or something like that. I know it's an old school coral, but I really like those. Old sure. Things. No, you could take anything that's a, that, that would be similar to that, that has a stem. Sure. And pop that right in there. Right, right. So we're going to take this guy and cut it up into three little spots and uh, yeah. see if we can fit, fit it into that fit it into that rock. So what I'm doing now is I'm trying to make the polyps recede or retract in. So this way when we cut it, we can follow the grooves. We don't actually want to cut through the actual polyp itself. We want to cut around them. Um, so by us retracting the polyps, it gives us a better chance to see how we're actually going to track the coral when we cut it. Very right now a Micromusa Lord Rock on these Marco Rock that we have here. And then we want to have it, give it some room to grow so that it will grow nice, nicely into it. 
So if we look, we got like another, see, it's almost like a road. It goes right between the polyps. And we're gonna use that, and we're gonna take our saw and go right down that little track. Same thing of uh, all, all three, the same, same stuff. You don't want to put all three on there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can just put different type of stuff. And just okay. Nice. Cool. I don't want to take the same genus of all, all your, all your, all your eight. <laughs> I thought you wanted to make what we're going to put, make one rock like that. <laughs> no, no, no. We can do multiples. It's all, yeah, you know, look, the, the yeah. variety is, right. is our, you know, uh, is, is that our uh, option, you know, yeah, however sure. you want to build it is however you want to, you know, For design sure. it. And, and that's the, uh, that's the awesome part about having a coral tank you kind of everybody's tank is different everybody gets to design their own thing right. everybody has a different opinion and how things work and you get to create your own yeah yeah we get to, yeah right exactly so you tell me what you what other stuff you'd like to put on there man we'll make it happen so guys tell me from here what do you guys like Now, if you want to do a multicolor, we yeah. could do like one of the blues and one of the greens. I can yeah. cut like one polyp or a couple of polyps off of there and a couple of polyps off there. So this way you have right. not one rock with all the same color, but multiple colors on one rock. Yeah, for sure. I think, that was, I think that's, that's... You want to try that? Yeah, for sure. All right, cool. Let's we'll grab this, uh, this blue guy. Yeah. And uh, we'll grab this guy. Whatever you want to do, Bubba. You, whichever one you like, bro. You, it's your, it's your uh, creation. I'm just here cutting stuff and making it happen. So what we can do is glue this guy in the center. It might not look too happy now, but once we get it back in the water, it'll be oh, nice sure. and it'll be nice and fluffy and happy, that's for sure. So we can cut it, right, and not damage it. What other one would you like to go with, Bubba? Uh, this green one? Yeah, let's get uh, one of the green. That one looks super fluffy and happy. Yeah. Let's get that and then maybe one of these right there. Gotcha. The small one. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think that, 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 that's like the highlight. Maybe put it all the way to the top or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That one's a little rainbow. Uh, we are shipping stuff. Yes, I. Uh, we just we just redesigned our website, so that's um, back up and running. So uh, very soon we'll have all of our stuff online. The great thing about the saw that you can't do with other cutters is you can cut things flat. So this way, when we lay it flat, yeah. all the animals is pronounced up which is it's that's what we want so this right. way it's got a nice base
You like this double polyp on here? Yeah, man. Because I can just pop this right off the plug. So what we've done is earlier we had a, a larger colony like that, yeah. and we just chopped it up into smaller affordable chunks. Right. So we can just pop this right off of here and glue that right on the top of that. Awesome. I see it right, that little cradle. And you made these ledges earlier. I think they're def yes. helping out like tremendously. So what I did was I just created a couple little ledges with the with the actual cutters, I snipped away because I kind of could see where I wanted to put stuff. And now yeah. we can put this in the uh, water. Mm -hmm. And then that hole in the, uh, right next to the, the blue one, yes. I wanted to put like, let's say, like a candy cane or something. Sure, like that. you can pop anything you want into that bad boy. So I have a candy cane down here. So I can pop this on, uh, let me trim this up a little bit, and uh, I think we can pop that right in there. Oh man, the feeding time is fun with these corals, man, because anybody who wants to fed candy canes or, you know, like Micro Moose Lords. I mean, they love to eat. The polyp extension on those are crazy. So what I did was I just trimmed it up with my cutters, and uh, we'll take a little glue and pop it right in that hole. Uh, my glue's over here. Glue's right there? Yeah. Couldn't be any easier. I don't know how to make that uh, any simpler. It just pops right in there. And then, uh, so now we have a multiple A-can rock with a little candy cane, a uh, little happy day present. And uh, that'll be uh, a nice little starter rock for your, for your uh, little tank. That'll get us started anyway. We'll put them both next to each other so we right, can see. Right. And then, uh, let's go with, uh, some Michael Musa and Fabia rocks. I see that you have a, a lot of Fabias here. Yes. And some of the Michael Musa. Like Hello. I'm good, Bubba. How are you? Yeah. I, I believe so. I'm not 100%. But I, I believe it's open because they're still doing work. Thanks, Bob.
So, what do you think, Chris? This one I was thinking on the last rock for the Fabius, I was thinking about like the one, one of these yeah, that you perfect. mentioned earlier. Yeah. And then the green one that we mentioned before. Uh, like any one of the green ones. Yeah, sure. And then maybe like well, one or a couple of maybe one of those Fabias right there. Gotcha. And then maybe, uh, yeah. Do you think we can maybe crack this one here? Uh, war Fabia? The War Core? Yeah. Sure. I know it's like a, those are like super common ones, but I mean, I love them. It's got great color combination. For sure, definitely. I love them. Do you think they'll fight, fight a lot, kill each other off? I mean, uh, there's going to be a winner for sure. <laughs> um, it all depends. A lot of the Favias can live next to each other, just like the Acans. They can live, you know, you can cut multiple different colors and they can coincide right next right. to each other and have no problem. Sometimes you get one that might be aggravated. And, you know, just that's just what happens. But most of the time, yeah. the same genus can live with each other, and that's cool because you could get a blue and a green and a, a red and put them all together and have like a multicolor, kind of what we just did. And right. and they will grow together, which is kind of awesome. Sure. Let me see what we got. This way we can see our, our colors. And what we want to do is I'm going to cut this red right down the center. So this way we're actually leaving half and half. Yeah. You know, we don't want to, we don't want to lose that red. That's a good part. So we're going to cut that right in half. Gotta love the new blade on the saw. All right, easy peasy. I gotta get my glue. You can just leave the money on the counter. Yeah, that's awesome. Thank you. Have a great day, bro. We can make videos and help customers. We're we can do everything. <laughs> Multifaceted. <laughs> But I definitely like having a little game plan before you start cutting stuff. For sure. That that is key. So we actually did a little game plan uh, pre-game before we talked about what we were going to do and how we were going to cut stuff. This way, when we put it on the rock, you know, when we're looking at it in our aquarium, we can see all the best pieces, and we don't we're not looking at backside cuts, and you know, we want to look at all the best chunks. Right. And that's what we're doing right now. I think I have a, I think I have a, I think these three will really tolerate one another but I think this one will eventually fight what do you think It's possible you're just going to have to keep an eye on things if they start to get angry then, then the angry guy we're going to have to move him Right 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 But you know until then at least uh, we got a nice multicolor rock that we can work with Yeah And this way we can have something that looks really really good I mean, the color contrast on a lot of these corals is, is what we're after.
that already. Cool. Now let's 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 go stick shopping over there. Oh, I got a couple sticks. Come on through. Let's go. <laughs> Holy cow! This has been like filling up so nicely. Thank you, thank you. It, it's taken a little while. Um, you know, we all have our ups and downs, especially with with uh, SPS and sticks. It's not easy, and um, we you know, love the challenge. we love the coral. I, I do love coral. That is for sure. And uh, you know, it's a good feeling when you have stuff that's growing and and uh, doing well and it it makes you feel good about your aquarium and and that's what we're here to do is try and help everybody and we're all at the same goal we're all trying to get to the same place have a nice fish tank and and uh you know so tell me you you were telling me that you, this, you do 10 gallons of water changes a day on this yeah um so we have uh, stuff automated and that's what we're doing for a lot of our customers is automating everything so this right. way we're not necessarily having to do maintenance and service and and water changes so what i've done is we've hooked up our versa dosers and that's doing a 10 gallon every day uh automated so i'm not having to to mess with it right, right, right. now I'll, I'll once a week i'll go through and i'll suck out some detritus and i'll clean spots and do what we need to do but right. you know uh for the most part the the verses are doing our automated change every day of 10 gallons and um awesome. yeah it helps us out a lot Very cool. especially when you have an sps dominated tank they're angry and uh, they're putting off slime and they're fighting and we're we're trying to, yeah. you know, recoup new water so everybody grows happy and everybody's healthy. Awesome. Awesome. Wow. So uh, basically, I mean, it's you know, you choose, <laughs> um, but like, um, I mean, like if you have a frag of maybe that blue one, I think yeah. that's, is that an organ source? Yep. Dude, the OG coral. Yeah, yeah. There, you know, look, there's a, there's a couple things that that I had to have uh, the tort, a uh, red planet, yeah. you know, uh, these are things that I've been growing since I had the other store in Fort Pierce. And, you know, we're uh, like to keep that longevity going. We like to keep these, uh, these corals in play. For sure. There's a lot of new ones too, but you know, the old ones are, you got to still have those. For sure. So, I mean, uh, anything that's red, blue, and yellow? I, mean, uh, I have a couple different, uh, I have PC Rainbow, uh -huh. uh, Maleficent, okay. um, I remember, I still remember when that was first brought in and Richard the Red Cornbread got yep. that and named it. Yep. <laughs> um, you know, there's a couple things that we can we can make you frag, so it's not a problem. Um, I don't mind getting the cutters and we'll cut you some stuff real quick. Yep. You don't mind having fresh cuts going into your tank? Nope, not at all. Okay. Uh, would you like a PC rainbow? Sure. I'll give it this giant. Like it's, it's, you cut whatever you want. I got a, this giant. Dealer's choice. <laughs> we want to cut you a couple of these. I realize you haven't been able to take care of your tank, but that's okay. We'll take care of you. You got to take care of family first. And that's more important than, than the tank sometimes. But that's why you have good friends. So this way. We're here to take care of you while you took care of the fam, and that's important. Thanks, buddy. I'll just give you this big chunk right off the top. You know what's pretty awesome is that they swim upside down. Yep, yep, that they do. They don't know where the surface is. They don't know that there's a surface. <laughs> so it's kind of awesome. I didn't know that until we got them here. Um, and that guy will hang upside down underneath our ledge, which is pretty, pretty cool. Would you like some of that uh, Maleficent? That's this guy right here. You can see that deep, deep, dark ruby red. I can see that you're pulling your reds really well. I mean, what did you, are you dosing with potassium or? Um, I'm, das I'm dosing um, calcium, uh, alkalinity, magnesium, iodine, and um, we're using red sea line. Um, I'm dosing uh, calc wiser on our top off, mm -hmm. uh, but nothing 
nothing particular for specific color. Um, I just feed algae every day, you know, phytoplankton and, and a full line of reef nutrition and a little bit of Rod's food just to keep everybody fat and heavy and, and, and happy. And We're, we're reef nutrition super heavy here, that's for sure. Uh, um, yeah, you know, but but algae is the basis of life. It's the basis of, uh, of our oxygen. You know, it's the it's the most uh, it's the basis of everything. So it's got to be added. You know, the, the, the coral it needs it for sure. What about um, I got a giant chunk of that uh, Bill Murray in here, but it's already fragged on a on a plate. What do you that's think about one of those? Yeah, that's one great. of those. Is all right. They're in my frag tank and they're frags, but they're not. Look, they're it's attached. It's, it the it's attached to the rack. Look, they encrusted together onto each other. Here, you can have one of these. It's got some other stuff on it too. A little uh, looks like a little mystic, mystic, mystic sunset. sunset. Yeah, right, right. but the frags we have are not little frags. This is not. It was a frag at this point. Look, we've grown branches since then. Right. So, our stuff grows pretty good. Little Bill Murray, big Bill Murray, should I say? Ugh. These are like definitely old school frag sizes. Yeah. <laughs> Look, you want to get a, a a nice chunk of coral. You don't want to just get a little mini little teen like. Little nub. Yeah, yeah. That's not gonna. That's not helping out anybody. Anything else you see, Bubba? Um, do you have that Montecora? That that. Yeah, oh yeah. Green so um, I got this big big chunk I can cut you a frag off of this guy yeah yeah that's okay we got you it happens to us all uh, owning a reef tank yeah tell me about it but that's okay you know, friends and reefing, we all help each other out. Yeah. It's not a, um, you know, look, there's been a couple times I've given some frags to my buddies just in case I happen to, to kill it. Yeah. Because with some SPS, you know, things are delicate. Delicate is putting it later. <laughs> yeah. Well, no, it could be growing great one day and. Yep, look at it funny and start dying. So, there's a couple chunky pieces. For you there, and then. Um, and then do you have any monkeys that I can cross on the floor like you? I have the mystic one that you gave me, that which is doing great, and I do have the. Uh, I got a couple beach bombs, and then I have uh, Aquaman, one. Mystic Sunset. Yeah. I have um, Starburst. Uh, there's a couple other ones back there. Yeah. Pick one out. Pick a couple out. Hey, how's it going? Uh, I got this one. It's a... It's a two of them on one frag. I think it's... Um, Beach bomb and then something else, right? Man, my brain is not working at the moment. <laughs> um... These are all beach bombs. Yeah. Sure. I mean, I could separate it when I when I go home. This is a, a Jason Fox afterburn and a and something else. Now that you put me on the spot, my brain is not working. So many names. <laughs> right. Too many names. Too many names. Looks like a pink with like a green polyps. Um, Salty's tickled pink. I think that's this here. Gotcha. That looks like an encrusting one. Nice. It will plate, but it will also encrust. It kind of does both. Really? It'll shelf if you have uh, like no area for it to look. It, yeah. It'll also encrust and crawl over other corals. Mm. Like it's. Uh, right. 
If it doesn't, if it doesn't like you, it's gonna crawl over top and win. That's for sure. You want to try one of those? Sure. Okay. And then, uh, what is this one? Yeah, the big one. Uh, that's uh, Jason Fox Afterburn. Oh, that's the one that was on the. On the yeah. Funny, you gave me this uh, season, season's greeting mounting, uh -huh. and then my tang knocked it over, and it fell on the floor, and I didn't know about it because I was in the hospital for like two and a half months, and I, I cleaned the glass, and I looked, and it was me all over, so I was like, oh, no, that's <laughs> not cool. I kind of wanted to shelf, you know? You know what's kind of cool is if this coral here, this uh, is not getting direct sunlight. It's uh -huh. getting light off of the side, so if you go around to the right. side and you look through the side, you can see it's not getting direct light. It's getting refracted light from the front. Right. And it's growing up in order to get light, in order to continue to grow. Right, the shape of it is like this. Yeah, it's curving up in order to get that, the, the capture that light off the front glass. Funny how that is, huh? Man, the corals are going to find a way to grow, that's for sure. Absolutely. What else can I get you, Bubba? Uh, can you have any um, frag of uh, that um, Grafted Monty? Uh, I, I don't think so, but I can make you one. Oh yeah, I can make you one. Sir, if you have questions, need help, let me know. We're making a video. This is uh, Richard from Aficionado Channel. If you haven't seen his videos, man. <laughs> How's that for a grafted cap frag? Bam, wow. just like that.
How about now? Can you hear me? Can you guys hear me? Hello? Hello? Can you guys hear me? Perfect. Perfect. Well, thank you guys for watching today. I really appreciate it. The store is called the Fish Store. Whoop. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Sorry, all sorts of uh, things here. So thank you for watching everything. Uh, guys, this store is called the Fish Store. It's located in Port St. Lucie. Chris also does uh, ship corals. So if you guys need some of the corals that I picked out, be sure to reach out to them on Facebook, Instagram, and you could find them there. You can make you a nice pack. All right, guys. Well, thank you so much for watching once again. I will post update videos on everything of, that I got and how it looks on the Nano. So be a lookout on my Instagram and on Facebook. I'll be sure to post it for you guys. Once again, thank you for watching, guys, and have a great day.